Good morning, folks. First things first, don't miss last night's upload. I'll remind you again at the end. Harvard professor talks on the IPCC and scientific integrity. Let's kick it to the alert map where we see more volcanic activity on the west coast of South America. Signs beneath our feet. Same goes for an unnamed subsurface volcano in the West Pacific, directly south on the subduction zone from Japan. Two of the top stories were in England. First, we have blue-green algae. It's harmful cyanobacteria. We also continue taking earthquakes up here. They're not big, but folks, this is England. We're staying here to kick off the weather watch. We have two cells, one still offshore in the North Atlantic and the other over Italy. It's tough to tell when the North Atlantic storm will break for Ireland, but while we wait for that, the lower of the Mediterranean is staying put, with lightning and flash floods as a minor concern tonight. Only one story down here. A low is between nations and heading east slowly. The leading convergence on the east edge swinging north could drop severe weather if it gains a bit more curl back around to the west. Yet another easier day in the U.S. and Canada. Quick note, we do expect tropical formation around Baja to begin later this month. Meanwhile, the top watch today is indeed in the Pacific, but we're north at the border where snow is the story today. Earth took two gamma ray blasts last night, one from the Cygnus constellation and the other from Centaurus. Haven't seen that double tap in a while from these bursts. Been a week, few weeks. Solar flaring continues to be on the rise. That's almost guaranteed to continue today. Why would I make such a bold statement? Because we continue to grow in complex and birth new sunspot regions. Ladies and gentlemen, Beta, Gamma, Delta magnetic classification. I see two of them at the lead. The tiny central positivity is fighting the good fight here. Still, losing, but whatever. We have some baby spots growing so fast it'll make your head spin behind him. You should have seen how small this area was yesterday. Solar wind? Shh. You'll wake him. Density, speed, plasma temperature, calm and calming. Please note, the current earth-facing corona hole is tremendously weak, pinched by central blue umbral fields, and easily visible facing earth darkly in 211 angstroms on the SDO. But last night my eyes caught this scenario coming. Two coronal holes coming in. Power negative in the south, power positive just north of the equator. The current corona hole may be weak, but certainly not these incomers. They will face Earth as those planets we showed you yesterday are lining up as well. And with the new sunspots, I expect a space weather ramp. Earthquake condition index rises in the coming days. Eyes on the force. And don't forget folks, yesterday's second video upload is a must watch. Harvard professor Robert Stabbins with a little birthday present to our channel. We appreciate it. After nine days, I let the horse run free. The desert had turned to a sea. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.